Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to do some training uh, with you. Um, so this video we're going to be doing uh, or talking about um, basically getting traffic to your site, how to get traffic to your site, what kind of site or what kind of traffic you are, uh, are looking for. Um, and those types of things um, we're going to talk about in this video. Um, now bear with me, the video may uh, um, get long. Uh, we may even break it up. Um, but I wanted to, to uh, talk to you about uh, some of this stuff. Uh, most of the stuff you're probably, you know, if you're more advanced, you're going to know. Um, but there may be some things that uh, um, you may not uh, have known about. And um, so you may learn a few things um, within this video. And now at certain times, I'm going to pause the video um, and then uh, just come right back. So but the first thing I want to talk about is keywords. Um, and how they relate to your site and basically how they're going to relate to you making money in the end. Now if we take a look at, at a keyword, a keyword represents a group of people um, or a group of searches from a, a certain group of people. Now the keyword, whatever that keyword is, has a direct relationship to what kind of people those uh, what kind of people they are um, and when I say that I mean are the people information seekers are they um, or, or are they looking to buy something or are they looking to for a review on a product because they're about to buy something um, so those are types of things that a keyword could represent um, as far as those people um, searching for that keyword. Now, what your goal is, is to get a keyword that represents a group of people who are looking to buy a product or looking to find a review about a product because they are about to purchase the product and they want to look and get a little bit more information on the product. We're really not interested in getting people who are information seekers, but what we do with our Amazon sites can turn those information seekers into buyers. But we are more concerned with getting uh, people that are already in the buying mode and are ready to buy. Now what I'm showing you here is a spreadsheet um, of pre-researched uh, keywords for uh, the automatic watch niche, okay? So if we take a look at some of the keywords and uh, if we take a look at automatic watches for men, now the person who types that into Google or Yahoo or wherever is probably, is more likely to be looking to um, buy a watch, an automatic watch for um, their husband or, or whoever it may be. Okay. Now we can also take a look and see on this spreadsheet that right now there's not a .com, there's not an exact batch domain for this. Um, but if we were to look at best automatic watches, you can see that there is a .net.org um, exact match domain for it. What you're looking at is you're trying to find keywords that are buyer keywords or keywords that are going to bring people to your site that are more likely to be in the buying um, in the buying mood mode or um, looking to buy a product. So let's say that you have found a good keyword um, for your niche site um, and this is a low competition keyword um, you know with a good number of searches and low competition let's say you found that keyword okay that you're going to be going after and uh, we can just take uh, for this example automatic watches for men now you're going to be going after this group of people that are searching for this keyword okay but you're also going to have this guy who has a website that is also going after the same group of people. Okay, 
your goal is to get all of these people, okay? You don't want this person to get them. You don't want this person to get them. You don't want this person to get them, to get this group of people that you're going after, okay? Now, if you can get most of these people, you're doing pretty good, okay? But you need to find out more about your top five, top ten competitors, okay? And I'm going to show you what I do when I'm targeting a keyword and either optimizing my site for that keyword because I want to get all of these people to my website. I want them to get them to find my website when they type in my keyword. So what do you need to do once you found your keyword and you know the group of people that you're trying to get to your website, what you need to do is you're going to find out what your top five competitors are, do, are doing right now to get traffic. You want to find out what they have done to beat you in the top five rankings for this particular keyword. Now, how do you do that? Well, one of the things you can do to gain a little bit of information is simply type your keyword into Google and see what comes up. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go ahead and type in our keyword. Automatic watches for men. And let's go ahead and see who is in the top five or even top ten in this category. And it looks like Overstock has the top result for our keyword. They have the top two, actually. Now, look at the third. Who, look at who is in third position. Discount watches store. Okay, so now keep in mind, these are the people that you are going to try to beat out. Now, will it be tough to beat Overstock? Yes, I'm sure it will. But take a look at these other ones. What if you could get to this position, or even this position, or any other position on the first five pages of Google? Well, you're doing pretty good, and you're going to get a lot of traffic um, from people searching for that keyword, automatic watches for men in this case. Let's go ahead and take a look at this entry right here. Okay, this is a site. Now, I know you can't see all of the site um, because of my, uh, my frame, but this is the site. Now, what we can tell from, from looking at the site that um, this is um, not an Amazon site. It's not an Amazon affiliate site. Okay, this is going to be a drop shipping site, or either that or they have their own warehouse um, in stock and buy watches wholesale. So let's go ahead and, and just take a look at it. Now, um, this site is being built as an authority site. Let's scroll down and take a look and see what they have on their site. And as you can see, they're offering all, all kinds of different watches. Now, just because this is an authority site and it's not an Amazon site and they're selling their own product, it does not mean that you can't beat them in Google rankings. Now, now what we need to do is we need to find out more about this website. We need to find out who they are linking to or who their backlinks are. Those are some that's some of the information that we need to find out about this site. Okay, well let's take a look at and uh, see what we need to do uh, now. Um, as far as analyzing our keyword. Um, 
let's go ahead and take a look at and find out how many uh, exact match domains they are for that particular keyword on the first page of Google. Um, so let's go back to Google and take a look and see, uh, look again. Okay, so what we're looking for is exact match domains for automatic watches for men. And I really doubt that there's going to be any. So um, on the first page, there is no exact match domains for automatic watches for men. So now we know of already there was one niche authority site on the first page. Which was this one right here. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see if there are any more uh, authority sites. There would be one. So what we're going to say is there's two to three authority sites on the first page of Google for automatic watches for men. So let's go back. So we figured out that there's two or three um, authority sites on the first page for that keyword. Now what we need to do is start the process of finding out more about those uh, sites that we are competing with. We need to, if you see right here, we need to uh, analyze the SEO, we need to find the keywords and the title tags um, and find out this information um, about them. When, and one of the big ones is we need to find out um, how many backlinks the site has. Now there is a few ways to do this. Um, one of the ways is a free software that I really, really like um, that does this for you. Okay, this software is called SERP Attacks, and um, it's the software that I've been using for a long time now, and um, there, it is actually free. Now, they do have a pro version, but the free version does basically everything that the pro version does except one thing, and that's it. This is the best software, um, all-around software, um, to help you with your sites that I have ever found, ever seen uh, online yet. And this is how I use it to find out what my competition is for my keyword that I'm targeting on my website. Now remember in this example we are um, I'm going to target the keyword automatic watches for men. Okay. Now what we need to do is find out what our top five or ten competition uh, competition for that keyword, we need to find out what they are doing. We need to find out more about their website. Because what we're going to do is when we find out the information about those, the top five, the people that are in front of us, we are going to do exactly what they do and then do more and um, basically knock them off um, of their rank and, and uh, take their rank from them. So. SERP, uh, the SERP analyzer is what we're going to be looking at within the software. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I would just type the um, keyword okay and then I would click on uh, search and I'm going to pause the video just real quick now what you can see is the software has gone out and gathered the information that we need about um, the top uh, websites, our competition. And as you can see here, it's got the same ones that are on Google and it's put them here, the top 10 of our competition. Okay, and it's also told us how many backlinks that each site has, okay, and the page rank, the age of the site, and then the rest of the uh, rest of the uh, data. Now it also tells us exactly what keywords they are 
targeting, which is good for us. So what we can do is what we would do in this case is we're going to not worry about overstock right now, but we are going to go ahead and check um, as far as the discount watch store that we looked at. Um, and, but first, we're going to take a look at the fourth one down. Okay? So what I would do is I would just select this website, and I'm going to go down and um, send this to the backlink checker. So what that does is gives us um, some information right off the top. If you take a look, it's going to tell us the page rank. It's going to tell us how many internal links the site has and then how many external links the site has. This is good information for us because we need to know this. Now what we can do We're going to fetch the backlinks for that site. Okay, so let's take a look at this site's backlinks. As you can see here, it's listed all of the backlinks that this site has. Now, this is powerful. This is powerful because what we can do now is copy what this site has done. Okay, so what we would do is go ahead and copy these um, to the clipboard, or, or you can ex export. Um, all of these, um, but you just want to copy them down, copy them on a notepad, wherever you need to, because at that point you can visit each of these sites and either leave a comment or um, find a way to get a backlink back to your site. So what you're going to be doing is copying um, this website's backlinking process. Okay, right now you have all of their backlinks and they only have nine. Okay, so what that means is going to be um, um, easier to um, do exactly what they're doing. And if you have a good backlinking software, you can just copy these to, uh, to a clipboard or copy them to a notepad and then just uh, import them into your backlinking software. Now, one of the other cool features of this software um, is that when you do the SERP analysis of your keyword. Remember again this is free. This is a free software. So when you do that at the bottom it's going to tell you straight straight out um, if it this is going to be um, easy to rank over these people. Is it going to be easy competition, easy to take over or is it going to be hard? Okay, and it uses a very complex algorithm to um, determine this. Okay, and as you can see, that keyword, automatic watches for men, has an easy uh, a score of 11, which is very, very easy. So that is a very good keyword, and this is something for the automatic watch site, this is something you can definitely target. Okay, and once you know this information about your competitors, you can easily outrank them and put your site on the first page of Google. Now another way you can find out information about um, one of your competition websites, one, a, a website that you're in competition for, another way you can find out information about them is using a Firefox add-on um, application and it's called WooRank and what this does WooRank is an add-on that will um, find out all the information about that website for you and, and give you a and generate a report. Okay. And if you have Firefox, um, all you do is go to add-ons and then add that um, um, application on to your Firefox toolbar. And this is what it's um, doing. It's going and uh, um, getting information about this site. And this is information that you're going to need or you would want because you're going to overtake this website. Okay, so WooRank, 
if you don't have it, if you have, if you use Firefox, if you don't have it, go ahead and um, install it on your Firefox toolbar. Okay, so let's kind of review and, t and what we talked about so far. You're going to find your keyword that you're going to target. Now, remember, um, we are going to try to find a keyword um, that buyers are searching for, okay? Um, so um, when you're looking for that keyword, make sure to keep that in mind um, when, you're, um, when you're narrowing down the keyword that you're going to target. Also look for keywords like buy, uh, discount, cheap, um, things like that that would um, tip off that that person is looking to buy a product. Review, um, you know, maybe even a specific um, product name. Um, the keyword automatic watches for men, um, those people are looking for a watch to buy for a man. So that's a good keyword. Now, once you have your keyword, you want to find out um, who your top 10 competition is in Google. In Google. So um, you would find out who those are. You would analyze those top 10 um, websites. You want to find out what their back or who their backlinks are, what their backlinks are, and then you want to duplicate what they have done and then take over their spot. So in a nutshell, that's basically what we've talked about here and what our goal is here. Now we're going to stop this video up uh, right now and we'll pick up um, in uh, the next video um, product selection, um, niche, and things like that. So we will see you in the next video.